Hello all you half pints out there and welcome back to a no These guys make a new Wicked fire pit You guys are troublemakers Y'all trouble you guys that's like right by me now Y'all troublemakers All right, let's get back to work guys. Let's keep going here Anyway, uh, welcome back guys to, to yet a another uh, stone hearth gameplay Hearth oh yeah stone hearth hearthstone's the other game <laughs> Jeez, my brain today. Uh, today is actually Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, thank you for asking. I hope you all did too. If you don't celebrate, then I hope you uh, had a great day anyway and did lots of fun, awesome things. I really do. I really do hope so. I, I wish the best for all of you guys. And I enjoy y'all. And I respect y'all. And let's get back into the swing of things here. Uh, what was my goal? I can't really remember my goals so much. I think that what we need to do, I think there's a couple things we probably need to do. I think we, we're building a house here. Did we build a house? Is this a house? Ah, I think we did. But now we need to build some stuff to put in the house, I think. If I remember correctly, that's what we were going for. Let's go ahead and build some beds then. Can we, do we have beds out of this guy? Can we not get beds from this guy? This guy doesn't do beds. That's okay. We have somebody else. We have other people that can build beds. Don't you worry, your pretty little heads. Um, let's see what you got here. Clay bed. Let's have you build a... Uh, what do you need for it? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to two for you. But it looks like what you really need is more clay. Well, we're going to get you some more clay. Now we are starting to run a little bit a little bit short on the amount of clay that we have here because a lot of it further in is actually stone. Which, you know, is not bad for us necessarily, but it's not what we need in this case. What we really need in this case is clay. But we'll go in here, and although it's hard to kind of see with the light the way that it was, I think that a lot of the stuff that we just chose there to dig up are, is in fact clay, I should say. Uh, not R is in fact clay. So we have a we have a skunk in here, raccoon in here. We got a lot of raccoon jerky now, and we have a lot of uh, other stuff. Our food storage and our food supplies are looking pretty good, and that's why I have the uh, the cook spoon is gonna be something that I definitely go into pretty soon. And uh, let's see, herbalist level two. What does that give you? Uh, skillful enough to use materials crafted by other crafters. Max health plus 10. Anything cool? I give you anything neat? Any neato burrito stuff that I should know about? Uh, let's see what we got here. Of course, bandage we can build. Cool. Herbalist. Uh, so nothing new. Maybe some of these guys are new. I don't really know. Let's check the daily update out. Not enough food, morale is good, and net worth is good. That's okay, because the food part is uh, a little bit on the easier side to fix up than a lot of the other stuff. So I'm not as worried about that, honestly. Uh, let's actually also get you building a little bit in this direction here. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, wait, is there like a hole there? Huh, there is. I don't know why that is necessarily. I don't remember what I was thinking there. I think I just dug a level down instead of... Anyway, not the point. Not the point. The point is we can continue going here. We can continue pushing on. Pushing through. And uh, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good time. You guys, Are you guys idling? I don't want anybody idling here. I don't want anybody idling. People mining. Hauling and job. Hauling and job. Let's get you guys doing something. First of all, I saw the, the herbalist. Could probably well we have that equaling one. Where do we get so many bundles of fiber from though? Let's craft two right now. Just because I feel like it's not a bad thing to have more anyway. The more the merrier kind of deal, perhaps. So let's get let's uh, see what else we have going on. The potter is doing stuff. Uh, we have mounds of we have the clay mounds are kind of the big important thing for the potter. These guys are talking. I will not allow this. This cannot be allowed. So we do have the miners are supposed to be doing stuff. 
Uh, let's make sure that they are. Can they not get to that? Is that why they're not digging that up? Do I have to build like a ladder for it or something? Are you stuck there now? Don't tell me you're stuck there. Okay. Alright, I think that they can't actually get to some of the stuff that I told them to do. I don't think they can get to this stuff. Suspend mining. Remove. Yeah, it's fine. Can I get in here now? Okay, I can get in here a little bit more. And I can actually probably get them to mine a lot more efficiently the stuff that I want them to mine. So I was really kind of hoping to lower our dependency on pottery stuff, but it appears like we're still going to have a need for it for at least a little bit longer. That's why I built this, um, this stone house instead of the pottery, the fully pottery house. This so that I could kind of get away from that a little bit, but I'm not sure if it really necessarily is going to work out for me. Now I want to put at least two beds in there. Two beds and like a eating area probably at some point. Have this be like a, an actual house house kind of thing, but isn't as... Like this house over here is is for two people, and it's way too much. It's just way too much for two people. It, it takes up more space and, and is way too expensive. So, uh, is that a bed right there? These are a couple beds. Clay bed right there. Sweet. Let's put the clay bed down right there. And let's put this clay bed down uh, right there. And then I think I might be able to put a... a you know, a table with a chair or two chairs, maybe, right there. Do we have any of those things? Do you have any of those things just, like, readily available for us? There's one right there. We'll put it right there. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, he was hungry. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna put this up right here, middle of the doorway. Thank you. I'm going now. He's like, D what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to eat. He's like, D don't you want to... Sometimes I feel like when I'm controlling these guys that they're not very intelligent without me. <laughs> and I don't think they could survive if there wasn't a big... Like, men, like luckily for them, male, uh, benevolent uh, controller to tell them what to do and where to go. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll put this one down. And the other guy's like, I'm getting my bed. Don't worry, don't worry. I was hungry. And the beds are good now. Thank you. Let's assign this guy. I think the last guy doesn't have a bed assigned to him. So that's... Definitely one of the things I want to get to. Alright, cool. That worked out. That worked out. We have a lot of pelts right now. Our tra our tra or tracker. Our trapper is doing quite well. Silver ingot. Other stuff. Um chair. Let's put the chair in and let's rotate a rooney it to make sure it looks good, and that way there's just another place for people to eat. I don't know if anyone's ever going to actually eat there, but it might as well make the houses look like they're actually useful for something. It bums me that these guys are, haven't really, excuse me, finished the uh, this building. It still doesn't have the windows. I should probably do something about that though. I'm sure there is something I can do about it. So what does a farmer of level 2 get to do? Exposure to fresh food has given the farmer ideas about cooked food. See the promotion menu. Ah, I can promote pretty soon. But when I promote, I'm going to need another person to take their place. What's more important then? Somebody to spin your, spin stuff or a cook? I think cook is more important because uh, food going bad is one of the main problems that I've been seeing from here. And it's definitely something that I could, I'd like to try to avoid. I think that might be something that, I'm, that I work towards pretty soon too. Uh oh, what's happening? Uh oh. Okay, so it's it's bad things are happening. But I think my guys are probably okay. But the training caravan has returned. A lot of things happening at once right here. We need to start thinking about having another wooden sword. We really do. Also, we should loot this. But more importantly, I think I'm gonna sell all these. I'm gonna sell all these. They come in so fast. Sell all those. Sell all those. Anything else I want to sell from here? I don't believe so. Cobblestone fences and stuff like that? Yeah, I'll sell them for now. Are we okay? Is the right person attacking the right people? Yeah, alright. Cool. That makes me feel a bit better. Silver ingot. We'll keep it, because I might be able to use it once I have uh, the whatchamacallit. 
More invaders? Is that this guy? Varnus, and this is a smaller version. Uh, guys, 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 back, 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 back. I'm not so confident on this one. Where's my, where's my warrior? What is he attacking? He's attacking this door. Where's my warrior, though? Wait, hold on. Where is he? Uh, attack this guy. Attack him. Shoot, I hope he lives. I hope he lives. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm worried that this guy may not live. He looks like he's doing okay. Wow, what even is this? Varanus. That's a scary dude right there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Huh. Alright, he's got him. He's got him. Oh! Oh, he's freaked out! Is he on low enough? He's freaked out! Last swing, last swing, last swing. Come on, last swing! One more swing, dude! There you go. Wow, that's, that's pretty scary. What can I do for you? You gotta sleep? Wow, that was pretty creepy. Whew, that was definitely the, the, uh, the biggest, scariest thing I've had to deal with so far. Will you take care of yourself in terms of medicine? I hear, I hear rotten food. You can destroy that, please, when you get the chance to. Um, I want to make sure that this guy gets himself some medicine. Kind of hard to see it at night. So can I can I task my my herbalist with the, doing that? Does my herbalist himself have to do the the healing? I don't really understand how that works to be honest. All right, that's interesting. Well, I hope that they do then when everybody wakes up before the next battle because uh, he's pretty low. He's pretty beat up. And now this door does this door need to be healed or or you know fixed in some way? I'm not really sure. That was intense. That was. That was uh, news for me. Alright, well, moving on from that, we're gonna harvest a little bit more, a uh, little bit more goodies, a little bit more um, clay. We have, st we have enough places for people to stay right now, we have enough food at this point. We have a farmer we want to get going into a cook pretty soon. Oh, guys, I'm actually going to call this episode right here. I know this is earlier and shorter than I normally do these episodes, but I'm a little bit concerned. I want to just find out a couple things about healing first. Looks like he's healing a little bit right now. I want to learn a bit more before I go any further, but I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, rough and scaly. We actually got a, his, his pelt, though. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of searching up on the old interwebs and see... Uh, exactly what kind of different things we have to look forward to. Is he being healed, maybe? Did the, did the... Oh, yeah, look at that. Sweet. Cool. Let's gather some more, uh, let's gather some more fibers. And let's gather some more herbology stuff. Yeah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll grab some fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. Most importantly, as always, peace out.